if you're a foreigner, sometimes it's uh, difficult to find housing. Hello, my name is Stuart and this is Cheap Japan, the channel where we try to beat the land of the rising cost. Now, in today's interview, we'll be talking about housing in Japan. I hope it helps you and it gives you some value about what you can get here in Japan compared to other countries. And I hope you enjoy the content. Hello, this is Stuart from Cheap Japan and I've got my friend here. This is Jelly Bean Joji. Hello. He loves sweet food, he told me today. Yeah. So, housing, what do you feel the difference is between here and mm. America? Because me, I see a big difference. So Apartments, much smaller. Mm. Uh, and so, thinking about price in terms of square footage or square meters and the amount that you spend mm. is... <laughs> It's kind of rough. It's a little rough. The amount of rent that I pay right now for my place, and my place is very tiny, this very small space, I could probably get twice that amount of space for the same amount of money uh, back home. Mm. I know I've heard this from some friends that if you're a foreigner, sometimes it's uh, difficult to find housing. Mm. Uh, and so you're limited in what kind of place you can get. If you can find a good company that can uh, find you good housing, mm -hmm. which there is a lot of, then uh, you can kind of find a decent living space with good amenities. Mm. And so I think it just depends on how you find your place and also where it's located. I find if you not mind, if you don't mind how you live, you know. You, for me, it's kind of cheap compared to England. Oh, you know? really? Because to find a flat is more likely to be closer to the city. Mm. You know, and with that in mind, the price dramatically goes up, you know. So I lived, like I said, in the sticks in the countryside. And there, it was, um, there was not so many like studio flats or like flats mm. available, yeah. apartments or flats. So... For me, it was a bit more difficult to find something that was cheap. Like here, I mean, in comparison, for me, is quite cheap because I don't live in the city. Yeah, but I can mm. easily get to the city within an hour, one train route, you know, which I think is very useful. And those places usually in the UK are more expensive. The ones that are on like the outer ring, away from the city, mm -hmm. because they're easy to commute in. You're not in the like the rough and tumble of the actual city. So where I'm located, if I took it into consideration that way is actually much cheaper. And yeah. there is, there's also an abundance of places. If you can't get your first choice, there are uh, 50 other choices available, mm. which are pretty much at about the same level. I've gone and looked at some apartments and there are some, like there are some really nice apartments, especially like out in the suburbs mm. that you can get at a decent price. Mm. Mm. So I think like, um, someone who's coming out for their first time, if you're looking to stay over here, it may be it's just a case of getting your foot in the door. You know, you find the first thing you can find, or not the first, but something you can get in with someone, somewhere, and then you branch out after that. You branch out to, once you start meeting and communicating with mm -hmm. people, you find out more information, and then you can find the cheaper places or good landlords, for example, around the area. Yeah, that's, that's what I did, actually. Uh, I... There are a lot of room shares available, mm -hmm. room shares within like a house or even uh, there are like a, these community apartments in a way mm -hmm. where you can get rent at a pretty cheap price. Uh, the first place that I got in Japan when I came was uh, I only paid about uh, what they would say about Niman. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so around about 150 pounds or yeah. $250? Uh, $200? Yeah. About 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. 200 bucks a month with internet and all utilities mm, included. That's pretty good. And once I was here, I got that room and it was close to a station. And once I got myself established a little bit, I was able to go out and find a better apartment for mm, myself. Yeah, mm. I see, that's good advice. Just one small thing is that the closer you are to a station is the most important thing here. So you'll find the price raise, rises the closest you are to a station. If you don't mind the walk or the cycle to the station, that's what I do, then you're okay and you can find a much cheaper priced place mm. away from the station. So yeah, that's a tip. Anyway, um, thank you very much for your time. 
Oh yeah, it's you're nice welcome. to speak to you. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for listening or watching if you are. And hopefully I'll speak to you again. See you soon. And cheerio. See you. Yeah, see you in Japan. Come on by. Cheers. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe down below. And you can find me also on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter under the name of Cheap JPN. Thank you very much again for turning up and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Ciao.